Well, we showed up, we're charged up, I'm pumped up. Let's get in the water and see what we can dig up. Let's get it. Headed out to the lake. Uh, got a couple of hours before I need to get into the office, start doing my daily work. And thought I would go over here and, and check this lake out that's near my house. Uh, I've, my strategy's kind of been let it build up for about a week. And if no one's really been detecting it, there ought to be a lot of good targets out there to hit. Hopefully some good gold rings, silver rings, some good stuff and a variety of stuff. It's been really, even though I haven't done as much hunting as I normally do, uh, my ring count for the, only the one month and one week that I've been detecting has really been good. I'm already well over 39, uh, 39 rings. By the time you watch this video, I may be already up in the 50s. But uh, it's doing really well. There's a lot of stuff being dropped out there. And so I'm really excited about that. I feel sorry for those that lose it. And I, you know, I got a chance to return some rings. And uh, But anyway, we're going to go over here. And like I said, like I said if... If there hasn't been a lot of detecting on it, it ought to be a, a target-rich environment, as Top Gun would say. But anyway, i uh, got about a 10-minute drive to get over there, and so I will see you guys out in the water. charged up I'm pumped up let's get in the water and see what we can dig up let's get it well I was getting a jumpy from upper 40s to mid 50s real static signal and uh, I looked at the clasp here and uh, put it together it's going to be a 925 chain very thin very small but I'll take that and uh, so let's keep on looking I haven't even gotten the water yet uh, very much and already got a good stainless steel ring. Wish it was gold or silver, but I'll take stainless. Hey, not bad uh, to be in the water in more, no more than two or three minutes and already got it. All right, let's keep rolling. Well, it's been about 10 minutes. I uh, got another, another stainless steel ring, but hey, I'll take any type of ring this is, uh, I can't even read the name on that thing. Chaney, is that what it says, Chaney? Uh, Chaney, I got your ring. If you ever see this video, call me. Uh, but hey, that's two rings. That might be a good morning. So let's keep on going, see what else we can find. Hey, hey, check this out. Not only did Preacher Digger get his cross, he got three crosses. It's a silver one, a gold one, and a black one. And the center cross was the main one, and I would say that's the gold cross. I would say the, the silver cross is the, uh, the thief that did repent, and the black cross is the thief that did not repent. The gold cross would be the Son of God that was crucified for all of our sins. Hey, but how about that? It's an episode, isn't it? We got us an episode. We got Preacher Digger got his cross. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get. It's going to be a good morning. Tell you what, the stuff that you dig out of a swimming area, look at that. That's got a point on each end. What is something like that doing in a swimming area? What is that anyway? It's like a, a steel toothpick, four-inch steel toothpick. Well, if someone jumped on that, that would hurt. I'm glad I can dig this stuff out. I am definitely in the uh, stainless steel mode today. Uh, thought maybe it's going to be a white gold, ringing up like a 47. Um, a lot of these rings are ringing up like in the mid 40s. It's a little ring, but I'll take it. It's something. I like digging something rather than nothing. 
still in the silver, I mean the stainless steel mode, aren't I? I'll tell you what, this lake has uh, got quite a bit in it this morning, so that's good. Uh, finds are not too far in between each other. This is just, uh, I thought maybe a white gold. It's ringing up like a real, like in the 40s. It's real chunky. And gold will ring up in the 40s, but also stainless steel rings up in the 40s as well. But it's a nice, nothing's broken on it. It'll, it'll retach there. So another nice little bracelet to go in the collection. All right, let's keep going. See what else we can get. Let's go for some gold and silver. That's what I want. All right, got me a little crown actually turn it over <clears throat> like that it's gonna be a crown of hearts and uh, it's ringing up like a 67 so I thought it was gonna be gold at first but it, I think it's just gonna be a junk costume ring um, hey at least it's not stainless right something different that's a pretty ring and uh, I'll take it I'll take any ring I just like digging rings I just nothing greater than bringing up it and looking in a scoop and seeing a round ring in that in there especially when it's gold or silver big gold yeah. All right. That's uh, several rings and a bracelet and crosses. And let's keep seeing what we got. I haven't been here less than an hour probably. So uh, it's all been on this one side of the lake too. So uh, we'll go work ourselves to that other side and see what's over there. It's ringing up like a 76, real jumpy, which is indicative of a uh, zinc penny. And I just don't dig them all the time, but I tell myself to dig them because you never know when it's going to be a ring and not only is the ring it's a silver ring at that and the reason why it's so jumpy you see how all those holes are in the shaft uh, shank like that uh that's going to ring up real staticky when it's like that it's not solid so it's not going to give you a solid tone so sometimes when you dig these 70s and i was thinking well i'm going to dig this one just in case and i'm glad i did check that out yes yeah, mark 925 right right there that ought to clean up really good all right that's ring number what five wow I love it when a lake produces like this. Let's keep on going. And I've, I haven't gotten to the other side yet. Well, I'm out here about shoulder deep water, getting an 84, 85, and uh, thought it was gonna be a silver ring, because the quarter rings up a little higher, dimes a little bit lower. And this thing rings up just like a ring, but it's uh, just a big earring. And, uh, but it rings up uh, 84, 85. I'm about to look and see if, if there's some markings on here. If this is not a maybe a gold-plated silver or, or something. I've never had junk earrings ring up that high before. But anyway, it's, it's something. So let's keep on going. Just about have to quit for the day. Well, I moved on from that other swim area. But before I came out, right in front of a family, there was a I've dug this little ring right here. And when I saw it, I didn't want to bring any attention to it, so I didn't uh, do any filming, so I just thought I'd film it right now. And when I got in my truck and looked at it, I had a heart attack. I thought I had a gold coin, gold ring. But uh, after looking at it under the loop, it looks like it's going to just be gold plated and just maybe costume, you know, or gold colored. I didn't see any markings on it whatsoever. But uh, I don't know. Let me see if you can see it right there a little bit better. But uh, anyway, it's a ring, but... It's not what I want, but uh, I'll take it. I've uh, got one more swim area. I may hit one more after this. I don't know. See how I feel. Well, out here in my second swim area, out about shoulder deep water, it's getting about a 61 to 64, real jumpy. And uh, I think this is white gold bracelet. I can't quite see the markings on it. I know it's not stainless steel, uh, but I don't know. It, it's it's going to be in the making right here. That could be a gold. It's, it's, it's got, got the diamond cut to it. Very pretty bracelet. I'm hoping it's going to be 14 karat or 10 karat or something. So out here in the deep, it's kind of quiet. So the targets are few and far between. So maybe this is going to be, uh, if I stay out in the deep, I might get some more targets. So let's keep swinging. week at the lakes. I did a lot of detecting, a lot of lakes. Went back to the same lake over and over and over again. And uh, the last three or four times that I went out, I 
found absolutely maybe just one thing at each swim area. I mean, this getting fewer and further between now, the further away we get away from Memorial Day uh, weekend, but it, it'll pick back up after the 4th of July and go for a couple of weeks. But uh, now you're just kind of finding some stuff that they're, they're dropping, you know, throughout the week. It's just not a whole lot, even though there's a lot of swimmers out there. It could be too that there's a lot of uh, water hunters in my area hitting the same lakes that I'm hitting or people watch my videos and they figure out where I'm at and they go out the same lakes. And so it could be some of that competition as well, which is all good and fun. Everybody has a share to get on those lakes. It's just really about when you get on them, really. And I've been getting out at the crack of dawn before the sun even comes up on some of these lakes because I just like getting out before there's anybody else out there in the swim area. You can just cover it better and you don't have to deal with everybody, you know, asking questions and the kids coming up putting little oyster clam shells in your pouch. I have a whole bunch of them in this pouch this time around, but but I enjoy it all. But uh, anyway, I got everything laid out for you. So let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right. One thing that doesn't change is the amount of trash that I dig. There's, here's all those little mussel shells. The uh, kids just kept throwing in my, my pouch. They would go dig them and just come up and put them in my pouch. I thought it was cute. I just let them do it. Uh, some iron and miscellaneous stuff. Check that out. Wouldn't you like to step on that in the uh, swim area? Jab that right up your foot and get some type of tetanus. Uh, some other type of little thing. Here's my aluminum caps. My fishing uh, stuff. A couple of sunglasses. A lot of bottle caps. I dig these, even though I know exactly what they are before I dig them, because they sound one way like this and another way like that. But you can tell what they are. But I always dig them up because sometimes they might be a chain. Uh, a lot of square tabs this time around, looking for the gold rings, of course, and that's why I'm digging those and other rings. Uh, not too many beaver tails this time. These ring up in the 60s. These are like 53 on the AC Pro, and these are like 60 on the AT Pro, so there could be a ring here too. All right, here's my change this time around. We got one, two, three dollars and 25 cents in quarters. So four, eight, 12, 13 quarters. Let's go to dimes next. We got uh, five, 10, 12 dimes. We got four nickels. We got five, 10, 15, 19 pennies. So a little bit of change, not as much as usual, but quite a bit. I really thought this was a, a, a ring. It was ringing up like an 84, real solid 84. Another little earring there. I don't know what the top that is. But, well, I got my fair share of cross earrings, didn't I? One, and I got the same pair, and those were about 10 feet apart. That's weird, but I got both of them. And then I got my crosses, another three crosses. The black for the unrepentant center on the cross, the silver for the repentant center on the cross, and then of course the gold one meaning Jesus on the cross. I guess that's what that means. It's the first time I saw those three dog tags like that. But I've got my crosses though, didn't I? Here's my necklaces. I did get a 925 Mexico silver chain. I have not cleaned any of this yet, so that ought to clean up really good. I got an anchor bracelet. It's non-precious. Then I got a stainless steel bracelet. It's real pretty. Ringing up like a 40 something, 47, I think. And then I got a 925 uh, diamond cut uh, silver bracelet. You can see 925 on there, or, or somewhere on there it's 925. But it was ringing up in the 60s, I believe. Then for my rings, I got a, a up, those are hearts upside down hearts a little crown that's just a junker or costume that i thought was i uh, had me a gold coin ring but i didn't it's just a junk or costume ring uh either one i think some people don't like me calling it junk because people wear it i'll say costume ring but it's just non-precious put it that way didn't find any markings on that ring up at 38 to a 40 that's why i dig those low tones because sometimes it is a stainless steel ring we have shaney here I thought it said Chaney, but it's Chaney. That's one of those uh, stainless steel customized rings. And then I thought this was a titanium. I can't get any markings on it, but it rings up a 47 or 45. So I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be, titanium rings up around a 50. And tungsten in the 60s, even to the low 70s, but uh, that stainless steel is gonna be in the 40s. So it's gonna be a, just a real pretty stainless steel ring. Then my best ring, 
is this tarnished up silver ring. You can see in there that it is 925. Um, I've got some new silver cleaner coming uh, from Amazon, so I'll clean all this up and maybe show a pic later on. So that's my best find out of this is that silver ring and that silver chain. And I really enjoy the crosses. So I had a pretty good day at the lakes. <clears throat> this is all about uh, three days worth, I guess. When I say the lakes, I mean the uh, same lakes over and over. Uh, about six different times that I went out. It's just real close to the house. So one time at the same lake, three times. So there's all the trash. And here's all my treasure. Like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to a lake and put on your tailgate and shoot a wrap up. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.